Magnetic water flow switches are often used to monitor the flow rate of water. Once the water stops flowing through it, the flow switch will instantly trigger a series of actions within the system, such as activating an alarm, so as to ensure the safety of downstream equipment. Flow switches are usually found in water cooling equipment and other similar large equipment or machines. If there is no water flowing through the cooling pipe, the temperature of the equipment will rise accordingly, which then may lead to the improper working or even burnout of downstream units. For this reason, it's essential to install a flow switch in the pipeline of the water cooling system. Once the magnetic water flow switch detects no water flowing through, it will send an alarm signal in order to avoid accidents. In this video, we are going to present to you an application case of the magnetic water flow switch from ADO. Here is the wiring diagram. The working principle of the system is explained as follows. The water flowing through the plastic valve core enables the onboard permanent magnet to approach the transducer on the external black switch for the purpose of sending signals. When there is no water flow or there is obstruction that stops water flowing through the switch, the two magnets located inside will produce a repulsive force which is to reset the switch. To put it simply, whether there is a signal output from the flow switch depends on whether there is water flow. And this also applies to the normally open flow switch. Followed is the simple demo. Things needed include a magnetic water flow switch, pagoda joints, a relay, a warning light, DC power supply, and a water pipe. The magnetic water flow switch from ATO features G one half inch of joint size at both ends. Here we prepare two pagoda joints for the ease of joining up the water pipe and the switch. With the water pipe part done, we can join together the magnetic water flow switch and other necessary components according to the control circuit diagram. Add the warning light to the circuit. As shown in the demo, connect one end of the magnetic water flow switch to the positive pole of the DC power supply, and connect the other end of the switch to the positive terminal of the relay coil. Then join the coil's negative terminal to the COM GND port of the supply. If the warning light is controlled by the normally closed contacts of the relay. That is to say, the warning light goes out when the relay is connected, and the warning light is on when the relay is disconnected. With everything done, we can power around the system. It can be seen that when there is no water flow through the pipe, the relay turns on the warning light. You can see clearly that the relay turns on green light when there is water through the pipe, and that light goes out when there is no water flow, and the warning light is triggered. The flow switch shown in this video is just one type among ATO's product line. We also have MPN and PMP types over a wide range of analog signals such as 4 to 20 mA available for customers to choose from. 
Click the link down below in the description box to explore our flow switch catalog and find the right type that's perfectly suited to your project.